Hello Divas, Diamond Styles, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my YouTube channel, Femininity with Mama Gail. Today, let's talk about being mysterious. This actually comes from an email from, this request actually comes from an email from Leslie. Leslie asked Mama Gail, how can I add mystery back into my relationship for date night? She says that date night has become dry and she's been married for 15 years. Let's add mystery into date night with Leslie. Leslie, I know that 15 years is a long time, you know, to go through the routine. It's like a one show pony. You guys go out to dinner and you come home and relax and whatever, or you stay home and you cook and you watch Netflix and chill and whatever, you know, I understand date night. When I was married, my husband and I, we had date night. There were two things that was never a problem or an issue in my marriage, date night and sex. And I say that to say to you that men want the fantasy of the relationship they will pay bills they will go to work they will go out with their friends they will do everything that they do but something what draws them home what draws them to have interest in date night what draws them to wanting and desiring and not making date night a chore is what you bring to date night so this is uh, great that you want me to answer this question let me just say that what I'm about to talk about, I don't encourage for you young ladies to add into your date night in getting to know and in being in relationship with this gentleman. If it is not a strong relationship that you have been in for more than five years because one thing about gentlemen in the dating phase the early dating phase is they want to get to know you consistently what they like about you is the consistency of what it is that they say so you adding and implementing things into date night that come too soon a gentleman may not appreciate it because he has not fully gotten to know you and you may want to turn him on and turn him out and introduce him to the mysterious side of you before he has gotten to know you. You should be focused on the mystery of showing up different in your appearance and showing him step by step more of you while he's getting to know the real you. The mystery comes in you being the high quality chick who's always adorned in well dressed and designer and if that's what he's into and that's what drew him. Or it could be, you know, you being a bougie chick. He looking for this bougie cute chick, but you know how to show up still bougie, still cute, but kind of dressed down in maybe sweatsuit, sneakers, little tank top and, you know, things of that nature, allowing him to still see you in light of you being who you are, but just in different clothing, not out of character or in a different character or with a messed up disposition or attitude, but allowing him to consistently see you, but just seeing different views and different sides of you. Now back to Leslie, 15 years in a marriage, I'm quite sure it can get dry. I was married for six years, but one thing for certain, two things for sure, date night and sex was never a problem in my marriage because it was always interesting. We always kept the spark. I never got the chance to implement what it is that I'm about to share with you. But it does not mean that it was not there. I just do not believe in giving too much 
too soon to anyone. 15 years in a relationship calls for you to show up different on date night and longer. Date night, how you can spark it up. If you're going to be home and the gentleman, your husband is out, okay, date night is set for 7 o'clock, show up different. Prepare. Take the time to spend time learning about other cultures so that you can do other things on date night. For men, it's about the fantasy of date night. For women, it's about the quality time. I want you to spend time with me. Just love me. Let hold me. You know, invest in me. It's all about me. And because it's all about you that night, you have to learn how to make it all about him as well. Marriage is a partnership. It's the two of you in a relationship. It's not just surrounded around you. So in that, you have to play on the fantasy that's going on in his mind. And the fantasy is not what he wants. A man will say, oh, my fantasy is I want a threesome. You know, I want you to do this and do that. Men don't usually know what it is that they want. But when you bring it to the table without having to tell him that I'm going to do something new and you show up mysterious when he walks through that door for one you could use the idea of <clears throat> excuse me showing up as a geisha the man will look at you like what the world is going on he may not know what a geisha is and then again he may know exactly what a geisha is you showing up, it doesn't mean you have to have the white face on, but if you can put the makeup on, it adds to the fantasy of him getting something different. With or without the makeup, dress and switch your attitude, your mood, your mold into the posture of a sweet flower, a beautiful blossoming Geisha, who's willing to make him feel like he's about to get the treatment of his life. And it's not hard for you to do. You can go to the thrift store and buy a kimono or maybe not a kimono, but the uh, Chinese dress. Dress yourself up to look like something different, but give the attitude, the impression of it as well. And if you can't find anything Chinese, get you a nice top with a drop back where your back is out. Dr have the dress draped around you or whatever it is draped around you tightly, fitly, shapely, and have your attitude in the posture of, you know, I'm here and I'm going to make this experience something soft, sweet, delicate as a flower and beautiful just for you. The next thing you can do to spice up and spark up if you're not into the gay shit. Remember the movie Fifty Shades of Grey? I think it was the third movie, the third one that she actually got down into on her knees in submissive position with the braid going straight down to the back, her hands on her lap in submissive position in the bedroom. Now, you don't have to do this straight off the door if you're home in the house, things of that nature. Do your little date night. Go into the bathroom, spend some time in meditation and in getting into role play, into character, into the attitude of your wish is my command. I'm here to serve you. I'm here to not only receive everything that I've just received from you, the quiet time, the movie that I wanted to watch how you sacrificed and gave for me on this date night. Now let me submit and make 
this night special for you? Your wish is my command. How can I serve you? What would you like? And if you go out on a date and you come home, you still have time to prepare. We always take our time putting on makeup, taking off makeup, going into the bathroom, doing whatever. After you do your little date night and things of that nature, don't go right into sex. When you get home, can't make it through the door, go into your space, into your place, prepare yourself for to become the geisha, to give him the appearance, the fantasy. Prepare yourself to get in sexy, submissive role. And if you don't have anything sexy, go to the pleasure store and purchase something different. Allow him to see you in new light. It's bringing mystery, fantasy, awakening your relationship. You will make him want date night because he don't know what to expect. And even if he's out with the boys and coming home and you go straight into role, you can go into school girl go to the thrift store the uniform store or wherever and buy you a uniform take your hair and put them into ponytails go into school girl mode on him he's not expecting it walk in the door he'll walk in the door like whoa date night is about to be exciting you know He'll still spend the quality time. He'll give you whatever it is that you need. You cook, you serve. He'll cook, he'll serve. However, whatever, but it's up to you. Because men don't have minds that think of, let me uh, bring the spice and the spark. This is what I'm gonna do. I'll spend my money, I'll buy the food, I'll cook the food, you know, on special occasions. I'll do whatever, but it's up to the woman. Our creativity, we have creative minds, the intuition to bring the spice, to bring that creativity into our date night, into our relationship. That schoolgirl will blow his mind. Every man wants the fantasy of the innocence of being with you as a schoolgirl. You know, the fantasy of it. And you're probably saying, oh, that sounds kind of perverted, him being, no, it doesn't have to be perverted. And it's really not. And you know your man better than what I'm saying or anyone else. And you already knows if he's a pervert. But, if you bring in this character and it's something that plays into his fantasy, after 15 years, I'm quite sure, Leslie, that you know your man. You know what he wants. He doesn't halfway know what he wants. But you know that if you bring this to the table, if you give this to him, it will spark and bring in the mystery and bring in the rekindling or a greater fire into your marriage into date night into relationship and it doesn't have to be all about the sexual component just the fact that you were willing to do something different to show up different to serve him to submit to him, to play the role in the fantasy, it will open the creativity in the rest of your relationship. Sometimes men don't know how far they can go with you. So you have to open Pandora's box, the mystery, the tricks in your relationship and not just focus on you. We get caught up in us. Oh, it's all about me. He has to give to me. I'm the female. This, that, and the other. Men want love as well. 
Men want romance as well. Men want something different as well. And if you keep it tight, you keep it right, and you do what you need to do at home, in your bedroom, you know, in your relationship, you never have to worry about him going out and being with someone else to get what he can't get from wifey. So Leslie, kudos to you for asking this question and I hope that it helped you. Now you may not want to be a geisha. You may not want to submit like Fifty Shades of Grey. You may not want to go into school, girl. You know what he needs. Give him what he needs. Offer to him. Try new things. If one thing does not stick, something else will. You can also go into date night and just doing something totally different. But you need to capture his attention what it is that he wants and I speak of these three things that I've given because usually what a man wants is something that plays into his fantasy on date night he's giving you what you wanted the quality time the taking you out the doing whatever it was that you wanted to do return reciprocate give him what it is that he wants. This is Femininity with Mama Gail. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope this answered your question, Leslie. Have a blessed and prosperous day, divas, diamonds, dolls, ladies, and gentlemen.